Hi, I'm Jane Sully Morgan. And I'm Aaron Berry. We started our small film and animation shop in 2014 here in beautiful Point Richmond, California. It's called Skycar Creative. Here's some of the work we do. We'd like to introduce you to the artists who have immersed themselves in Adobe Stock to make three commercials using only stock assets. Hi there, my name is Arlie Cornell. I'm an animator and illustrator based out of Boise, Idaho. And I love making character animations, motion graphics, and illustrations. And I'm stoked to be a part of this Make It Happen series with Adobe Stock. I first received this style frame from a super talented designer named Yoon Ha Choi. And when I first took a look at the frame, I was really excited by all the super vibrant, colorful elements in the scene. And was also pretty stoked to learn that it was made entirely with Adobe Stock. I approached it from a couple different angles. Some of the elements in the foreground were very prominent, and I knew that anything that is living is gonna have to be more animated than some of the more non-organic parts. So I focused first on the plant life, as well as the animals in the scene. I know that Adobe Stock has a lot of different options in terms of what you can just replace a still image with. For the main flamingo in the scene, there was a lot of different options, so I was able to refine my search using isolated asset. It was a really simple drag and drop into my project file to bring that static image into something that's way more interesting and it's a video element instead. The next step was to begin my animation process. Basically my approach was I wanted the leaves to unfold from the center like they're blossoming from the inside, much like a leaf opens up from the center in the natural world. The approach was really to try to make it feel like this is a natural thing that's happening and a little bit of overshoot really helps sell that effect. After I had that layer of animation complete on each leaf, each frond, each piece of foliage, I knew that the next step to take this even further was to make a separate comp above it and essentially use the puppet tool to make it unfurl an X and Y space while it's opening in Z space. And so my approach here was to create a garbage mat around the outside of the full area of where you would see the leaf unfurl. And then using the puppet tool, create a mesh based on that mat. Once we have a few pins in place, we're able to animate the foliage in X and Y as well as in Z space. So we have this fully dynamic unfurling effect happening on each animated element. I'm pretty stoked with how this came out. This looks really fun, and uh, it's been really cool to get this thing moving. Thanks so much for watching, and feel free to check out Skycar's collection at Adobe Stock. Thank you.